Alabama Governor Kay Ivey has signed into law a bill to ban vaccine passports, which the legislation defines as any document issued by a state or local government to verify that a person has received a vaccination. The legislature passed the bill on the last day of the session a week ago. It says a state or local government entity cannot require a person to receive an immunization or show a document certifying an immunization as a condition of any government service or admission into a government building. Vaccination requirements for public school students that are already in state law remain in place. The new law says businesses cannot refuse to provide goods or services or refuse to allow admission to a customer based on immunization status or lack of documentation of immunization status. The law is effective immediately. Since the development of the COVID-19 vaccine, both Dr. Harris, State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris, and I have said that we would not mandate vaccines in the state of Alabama, Ivy said in a press release. I am supportive of a voluntary vaccine and by signing this bill into law, I am only further solidifying that conviction. I made the choice to get the COVID-19 vaccine and glad for the peace of mind it brings. I encourage any Alabamian who has not gotten their shot to roll up their sleeves, and if you have questions, consult with your health care provider. Some Democrats in the Alabama House of Representatives opposed the bill, saying it was unnecessary and that government should not take away the option for businesses to set their own rules. They supported an amendment to exempt hospitals, nursing homes, doctors and dentists' offices, and other health care providers from the bill, but the Republican majority rejected that. Other states are passing similar legislation because of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to USA Today, Alaska, Arizona, Florida, Idaho, Montana, South Dakota, Texas, and Wyoming have restricted the use of vaccine passports.